This is the actual paper that I bought commemorating Muhammad Ali, uh, the tribute issue to him. And I've kept it all these years because Ali is definitely one of my heroes, one of my idols. Um, I'm just blown away by him. He's just an extraordinary human being. And I hope today to do a book review of Becoming Muhammad Ali, but to also pay tribute to Muhammad Ali as well in my own small way. So that's a, this is one great picture of his. I'm going to do some edits, don't worry. I'm just going to show you a couple more. It's another one here, looking just incredible as an athlete. After defeating Sonny Liston, I'm the greatest, I'm the king of the world, just fantastic. An incredible aerial shot of one of his fights. This is a great photo of him as well, and it also talks about, the headline talks about his rivalry with Smoking Joan Frazier and the thriller in Manila. And of course, uh, well, great quotation there. Ali could pick flowers in a minefield and never miss a bloom. And then probably his most famous fight, the Rumble in the Jungle, was George Foreman on the ground. Just want to read you some quotations from Ali. Is that all you got, George? My grandma punches harder than you. Which is what he said to George Foreman during their fight. Joe Frazier is the greatest of all time next to me. <laughs> I'm just really inspired by Muhammad Ali. I mean, what a fighter. Came up with the Ali shuffle. He shouldn't fight like a heavyweight should like that. I mean, just the movement, the rope-a-dope. Your hands can't fight where your eyes can't see float like a butterfly sting like a bee as you can tell i've nowhere near his eloquence his speech nothing like that but i'm just humbled and just glad that i can read about him and see the archive of his fights and you know read his poetry and listen to him speak through recordings um and he inspired me to box as well because i'm a nerd but it just it's still an amazing thing boxing it's like chess but it's physical as well and it's like dancing I just want to give a shout out to Scott Dealing. <laughs> Scott Dealing of Box London because uh, without Scott Dealing and Box London, uh, I would never have got into boxing as well because obviously Ali inspired me, but they sort of took my nerdiness and still made me able to do a bit of boxing. Um, thank you to uh, Jumbo and Red Hill Amateur Boxing Club as well. I trained with them a little bit, um, but I just love it. I just love the sport of boxing. Um, and I was inspired through Muhammad Ali because he was smart and quick and intelligent and broke people down and could trash talk, but also have amazing poetry as well. And that brings me to Becoming Muhammad Ali by James Patterson and Kwame Alexander. I just love this book. Um, I loved it because it's exciting. Um, there's a kind of vibrancy to it. There's a pace to it. Um, it draws you in. You just can't stop reading it because of so many different things. You can't stop reading it because of the excitement around who this person is. Cassius Clay becoming Muhammad Ali. You, you can't stop reading because of the vibrancy of uh, the prose, but then there's also poetry in there as well. There's, there's uh, different chapters are set out in different ways to suit the mood and to suit what um, is happening. And to suit, is, it, is it speaking in Cassius's voice? Is it speaking in one of his friend's voices? Is it a serious tone? Is it a playful tone? Is it some kind of um, powerful mixture of both? And I also like it because of the vibrant illustrations as well. They're fantastic. Um, I don't want to show them on screen because I don't want to uh, disrespect, you know, the, the publishers and, and, and the people involved. But they're so powerful as well in terms of drawing you into that community. And, you know, the story of him having his bike stolen and meeting up with the boxing trainer and believing in himself and having this incredible incredible charisma that you can't you can't replicate i don't think i think people have tried and people have come close but i don't think there ever will be a charisma like his can i really really recommend this book um becoming muhammad ali because i just love like i said you know inspired by a legend inspired by someone that will never come around again i don't think um and, in, and inspiring because of the mixture of prose and poetry and illustrations and just makes me feel um, connected in a very, very small way, um, just a little bit connected and, and reminds me to get back into shape as well because I had to squeeze into this top, I tell you. And um, it's made me want to try again to pick up my gloves, pick up, pick up my gloves and have another go. If you enjoy this book and you're excited by uh, stories that um, have mixed media in terms of prose and poetry and powerful illustrations, also, of course, we have to address the fact that um, Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, dealt with issues of racism 
Um, this book also deals with issues of racism. I've reviewed this book before and I'll, I'll put the link at the end of the video. But if you enjoy, if you enjoy becoming Muhammad Ali, have a go at Long Way Down. This has really been a quite a personal uh, video for me. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope maybe your 11 took a, a bit of a break from their revision to uh, watch this and enjoy it. If you have, uh, please share, like, maybe subscribe. I just want to show a bit of the, my own life, I suppose, and um, a bit of personality maybe, and also what inspires me and how stories can inspire you and why I care so much about stories and why I care so much about books, books and poems and people that can inspire you. Thank you.